Hello, I'm Donna Marie Canine Ferris from Old Town, Maine, and I've been waiting to get somewhere to charge my cell phone. My cell phone battery has been dead for like 48 to 72 hours. There's not a single place in all of Sacramento County where you can charge a cell phone if you're cast out on the streets homeless with nothing after you've had your body broken by law enforcement. So I couldn't do a video, but um, I got here to Vacayville, California, and I just charged it a little bit. Um, I tried to get medical care last night for the broken bones and bruises and contusions by the Sacramento County law enforcement. I tried to get it at Kaiser North, um, Kaiser North Hospital. And at first, I, um, I had to flag down an ambulance because my, oh, thank you, sir. God bless you. Because I um, didn't have a cell phone to work to call 911. I tried calling 911 twice on 1% battery, and it wouldn't go through it. It kept hanging up. So I had to flag down an ambulance that was on another call, and they weren't happy about it. The EMS uh, paramedic was actually, he looked like the brother to the officer who broke my wrist and dislocated my knee, my left knee. So he looked like him and he treated me like him. He put the blood pressure cuff on really tight and um, squeezed my arm and bruised my arm just putting the blood pressure cuff on me. I told him I was in the middle of a heart attack and he did nothing. He didn't hook me up to a monitor, nothing. I was in the middle of a heart attack. I have, I have pain induced chronic myocardial myocardial infarction and pain-induced chronic heart attacks and pain-induced cardiac arrhythmia and pain-induced atrial fibrillation. So he did nothing, nothing. He just hurt my arm putting the blood pressure cuff on. And then he went to take my temperature and he stabbed me under my tongue with a the thermometer. I had to pull away and keep pulling away as he kept stabbing me under my tongue with a thermometer. Now I went to the hospital because my lower back was broken by the officer who brought me to the jail and tried to arrest me, which is, and ended up having the charges he was trying to put on me acquitted because I was an innocent woman. But um, he wasn't determined to let me be innocent. I've actually investigated him for child trafficking and he didn't think I knew, but he knew who I was. I just never said anything. I didn't say a word after he broke my bat. I mean, after he broke my wrist and dislocated my left knee. So um, his brother was the EMS person. I think he was his brother, but I don't know. Sacramento Fire EMS hurt my arm, stabbed my underneath my tongue with a thermometer, and um, they were mean to me. And back at Isaiah, they were not nice at all. It was. Like they were angry, mean, vicious in that hospital. Not one of them was compassionate or nice with my body. And when I said I had broken wrists, I believe I had broken, black, broken lower back by the uh, jail staff. I was gang, uh, gang assaulted. And um, I didn't even say jail staff. I never even told them it had to do with an officer or the jail staff. I just said that I had suffered a gang assault and that my left knee was, I believe, was dislocated. He's like, so what are you doing now? Are you just diagnosing your in injuries? I'm like, okay, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of this hospital. And then I'm in the middle of a heart attack. So they put me in a triage room called Tier 7 and left me there. No monitor, nothing. I was in the middle of a fucking heart attack with severe pain in both my wrists, my lower back, and my left knee, and I had just dislocated my right, I mean, uh, what, do you call, what do you call it when you're, uh, twisted my right ankle trying to um, flag down the ambulance. I twisted my right ankle too. So I was in severe pain, I was having a heart attack, and, um, they did nothing, put me in a triage room and left me there. And I just left, I left the hospital. I'd, I got bruised up by a blood pressure cuff and attacked with a thermometer. And everybody was just being mean and denying my injuries. So I took off, but um, I have a very severely broken lower back. I already, I already have a broken neck and back. 
and um, bulging discs and pinched nerves and where this guard at the jail, her name is Mayhew, um, I've investigated her for very serious issues that have happened to inmates in that jail and she was the one that assigned herself to me and she beat me the fuck up and she broke my lower back and she helped the officer dislocate my left knee. Her and Cook, those are the two I've investigated in that jail and those th both of them were on duty and there that night. So um, I'm in Vacayville, um, California now at the Walmart because it wasn't safe to stay in Sacramento County. Um, I had tried to uh, survive law enforcement and then I tried to get medical care for their violent attack and I only to have to be forced to leave the hospital without a single care. After I left the hospital at like 1.30 in the morning, out into the streets, the dark streets with nowhere to go and nothing, just Beckett, Isaiah and I, I suffered a severe myocardial infarction. Severe. I almost died. So between then, um, I passed out on the, side, on the side of the street. I mean, passed out unconscious from the myocardial infarction. And um, I haven't had a shower in eight days. I'm in severe pain and I'm having trouble standing. And I'm getting violently, spiritually, and metaphysically attacked here in Vacayville, California. I represent a number of children. The Justice for Jesus uh, Worldwide Rescue Mission represents a number of children in this county who have had ignored abuse in the family law court and had their lives trafficked into their identified abuser's custody. So I have a lot of, of um, clients, young children in this county. I'm excited to be here. I don't know if I'm gonna get medical care unless God intervenes, because I tried and it didn't work. So this is where we are and hope to God I stay alive. I'm praying that the uh, law enforcement in this county isn't as corrupt and try to kill me like they do in Sac Sacramento County. I can't talk, I, I just can't talk. I keep getting my denture pulled, pushed out. But um, I'm praying to God they don't try attempted murder. God love you all, pray for my life. Pray that I get a motel room. It's been eight days without a shower or rest or sleep. I've been passing out in the ditch on the side of the road.